Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Midweek War! It's me, Mad Mike, and we are here to talk 205 Live, a.k.a. the Enzo Show. With me, as always, is the one only Sorgatron. How are you, sir? Hello, sir, and I'm trying to remember how to switch with the new software. Um, All right. But uh, hello, somebody's waving from me. I'm from outside. Um, hey, uh, we're ready to talk wrestling. We're ready to talk 205 Live in the filthy shit. Uh, and uh, Mike, take it away. <laughs> All right. Um, we we are here to talk 205 Live, of course, as we always do. And, um, man, what, what an interesting episode it was. Uh, Sorg... And what we're going to do is, as we always do, what is your one word for 205 Live this week? My one word is comeuppance. <laughs> and and, and that's going to that's gonna bleed a little bit off of what happened with Raw, of course, but you know, we'll get into all that kind of stuff. Okay. All right. Uh, my, my one word is, come on! <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, you know, we I, I, I know this is the third time we're going to have discussions about certain things on this show this week of, across our shows. But uh, but man, <laughs> but man, you know, uh, Sorg, I don't know what they're doing to me. <laughs> they're trying to kill you is what they're doing. Meanwhile, the rest of us will love what's happening. <laughs> you, you know, yeah, 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 just I hope he kills them both. I honestly hope he kills them both at this point. Like, I don't know. Like, Lindsay turns into Battle Cat or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We'll get into it. Or, 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 yeah. All right. Sorg, what's what's your good for this week? <laughs> My good for... Oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> My good for this week is Enzo. All day. Yeah. Uh, Neville all day. Well, no, he, he's a full heel now. Oh, he is. It's, it's like, amazing. Like he's, he's a full heel. Now that he's a heel... Everything about Enzo Amore works. In retrospect, every single but in thing. retrospect, he had to get to the heel status, right? The story has been him turning full on uh, yeah, too I, big for his britches. I don't think he had. I think if when you had them break up, if Cass was the face and Enzo was a heel, we could have gotten here a lot sooner. I, like I, yeah. I think I think you could. I think you could have had Cass kick his face off at SummerSlam. And then Enzo be like, "All right, fine, Cass. You, like, and have the loser leaves Raw match that we discussed. Mm-hmm. And then you could have Enzo be like, "Well, I can't be on Raw anymore, so I'm gonna go to a five live." And then he immediately goes after like. And again, that's the way you wanted to do it. That's not the way the Road Dog wanted to do it. I I guess not, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> it's okay. I ju- I just watch the product. But in the weekend. end. In the end, we have amazing, uh, uh, scary Neville, scary no sleep troll golem Neville, and and Enzo where he needs to be. Uh, Neville doesn't look like Gollum. I, I know, I know, but still, he is scary British guy in this in this in this case. Yeah, so. I mean, which is fine. Mm-hmm. Like, but he's not like he's not going around saying Rose is my precious. Neville needs is precious. He's not doing that. Like ha- have we officially addressed because I know he brought it up. Have we officially addressed the the title situation where he talked about how he doesn't really need to uh, uh defend it anymore since everybody attacked him after the show. By the way, I'm so glad that they showed that after the, what happened after the show. Me too, too, because that should have been on fucking Raw. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little that bit. Should but... have, that should have been on Raw, and Lindsay Dorado should have rode out Braun Strowman like He-Man and goddamn <laughs> Battle Cat. <laughs> like a reverse Battle Cat, right? Uh-huh. Absolutely. Hashtag. Absolutely. Hashtag reverse Battle Cat. Hashtag not my He-Man. <laughs> hashtag not that Battle Cat with a K. Because mm. cause that was a jobber from the 90s. Oh you yeah, yeah, that? that was that was one. That was one actually. <laughs> Battle Cat from the nineties. By the way, that... I was I was going back through the Shirley Doe interview when we were posting it today for Indie Mayhem. And he mentioned uh-huh. that his brother wrestled as uh, as Battle Monkey. <laughs> like back <laughs> in the nineties. And I'm just like I wish I was around for Battle Monkey. That would have been my favorite wrestler everywhere. Every, every you know, of all time. We have Space Monkey these days, and I would put him everywhere. Um, we can have Battle Monkey and Lucha Underground. <laughs> we could have a Battle Monkey. Very much so. We could have a I would honestly a lot of be really 
I would be really, really cool with that. Mm. Uh, all right. Uh, so, so my good this week, more PowerPoints. <laughs> yes. Oh man, this is the I, greatest thing. Is this I, not the greatest I, thing since Chris Jericho's a uh, 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 man of a thousand and four holds list? This is the man of a thousand and four slides. Mm. I love it. I love it. I need more of it. I'm so excited that every week Drew Gulak finds a way to shoehorn in a new slide. Mm -hmm. Pretty soon, the only thing you're going to be able to do on 205 Live, according to Drew, is headlocks. (laughs) And you know what that means, Sorg? Sorg, you know what that means? Randy Orton's coming to 205 Live. (laughs) <laughs> Randy Orton, <laughs> That's exact. Sorg, it's almost like we've done this for a while that you knew exactly where I was going with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been a while. Oh, oh, God, I can't wait to see Randy Orton headlock the fuck out of some people. <laughs> he puts on a chicken suit to drop the weight, only he puts a snake head on because he's weird. It's going to be great. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. All right, but so, but Sorg, not every show is perfect, as we well know. Um, what is your bad this week for Two Hundred Five Live? My bad for this week. Um, wow, I, I, I there there really isn't a, a bad that stuck out to me because this is I kept watching this week and I was like, wow, if this wasn't Ultima Lucha Week, this would be some competition, right? Um, yeah, mm-hmm. I am. Jeez, I love I like the Arya Davari doing the doing the turn and trying to get smarmy with uh with uh Enzo. Uh we uh, yeah yeah okay. Uh no no um 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 Tazawa Tazawa didn't have his uh his uh his his dude with him. Tyus O'Neil. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I don't know why I was escaping. Yeah, yeah no Tyus O'Neil. Um if he's part of the faction, we have to his his faction has to be there, right? Yeah, you would think so. You would think so. Um, I mean, I, I can understand why, I guess, because you can't have Titus on all the time because they want to keep it about the cruiserweights. Um, I have one small bad and one very large fucking bad. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll do the small bad first because it goes into um, stuff about Drew Gulak. They skipped the part in the post-Raw show where... Mustafa Ali was getting up for the 054 and Gulak went to stop him and said, No high flying. No high flying. And everyone was like, Come on. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and, and Drew was like, Okay, just this once. Just this once. And he's like, <laughs> like, That's an awesome bit of character development for Drew Gulak. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean- like, in the midst of all of that. All of that going on, he stayed in gimmick, like, like he, like he stayed in gimmick. Like, no, no, no. Yes, I want to hurt this guy, but you can't fly. That's not how we do things. Mm -hmm. And they just like, come on, man, just this once. He's like, all right, fine, fine, we'll do one. It's like Frank the Tank in old school when he's ready to do a beer bong hit. But, um, Sorg, as you very well know, my very large bad this week. (laughs) Yes. No fucking kitty cat man again! Sorg, they're doing this to me on purpose. Yeah, he he, he was hanging, but you had, but you had kitty cat man on Raw. Yeah, but he didn't do anything. Until after Raw. Yeah! <laughs> They're, They're messing doing with this to me on purpose. Oh man, we got to work on your you're 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 yelling so much you're peeking out. Uh but uh <laughs> They are doing this to me on purpose. Move, move the microphone away from your mouth a little bit. <laughs> they there Sorg, you go. Oh, actually, that's actually really Sorg, that's a lot better actually. I Sorg, I'm convinced they're doing this to me on purpose. They're messing with you. They know. They know you as a future they, endeavor like, member hey, of the WWE hey, we're gonna, staff. Hey, we're going to put Lince Dorado on Raw. But he's not going to do anything until Chris Lee's on. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Now you're trolling me. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I'm, putting, I'm putting you on blast. You're putting me. Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. No Chris Lee isn't. <laughs> Please. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. No, it's okay. I, I, don't, I don't watch that bullshit. Um, 
Besides, no, instead, as you well, instead he watches as you Raw. Well, no, after Raw, I immediately had on the Cowboy game. So, yeah, there's that. And that worked <laughs> out very well for you. Yes, it did. Unlike the power situation in the in the Sorgatron Media Studios, there. <laughs> I, hey, I, just, you know, we ran out of plugs. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what she said. Um, anyway, so, <laughs> all right. So, Sorg, um, if you could change something from this week besides having a Kitty Cat Man match, what would it be? If I would change anything from this week, if I could change the world, um. <laughs> Change I want a a, a a Jack Gallagher match because we've yeah. seen him go at some people. We've seen his promos here with, with this new version. Uh, uh, I want to keep saying Drew Gulak. Uh, this new version Gallagher, right? Uh, mm-hmm. I want to see what his matches look like now. Like really bad, right? Um, you know, I love him being referenced as Jack the Ripper Gallagher. Um, you know, those kinds of things. I think that adds a lot to it. And for somebody that was such a goofy character, I want to see, like, badass Jack is crazy and and scary I, I to me. Want, I kind of want him to go further than even Kendrick would allow, and it turns Kendrick face. Oh, so, like, he goes, like, Kendrick's is like, dude, that's messed up. Yep. I like it. Like, like, I really like, like it. I, I, want, I want that to go, like, like, it's Frankenstein, Frankenstein's monster. Like he didn't oh, realize yes. what he what he unleashed in Jack Gallagher. It's Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Sorry. Frankenstein. Sorry, I had to go some Mel Brooks on you. It's a, it's all good. It's you old zipper neck. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to watch that stuff now. Uh, all right. Uh, if I could change something from Two Hundred Five Live this week, I would have had someone besides Arya Davari be the guy to suck up to Neville. I mean, be oh, the yeah? guy to suck up to Enzo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, just because Arya Davari is always the third banana in a feud. Mm, bananas. No, but he's like always the guy that's in like the background but of a feud, I, you know? I know. I know you want him up front, and I believe in everybody kind of having their role in wrestling, and I think Davari is in the perfect position for Davari. I know you want him to be more, and maybe he will be down the line. But think of like where Jinder was before Jinder became uh, Maharaja, right? And I think I think Davari is in a place where he worked very well as Davari. Yeah, but it, it's just it makes me feel like I've seen this before. Well, yeah, that's okay. the that's the only thing I know. But like, like it only it only seems like they have one idea for Arya Davari and they keep redoing it over and over again. Yeah, well, he's there for that spot, you know, until they have a new idea for but him. And, and and I think I think it should have been T.J. Perkins. Really? But he's so involved with the Rich Swan thing. I know, but. T.J. Perkins, if you notice that after Raw stuff, he was the only guy that didn't attack Enzo. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What? But, 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 you got to do something next week. Yeah, but. Plant the seeds. Wait, let the story pan out, Mike. I know, but I, I don't know. Because then we could have gotten, like, a fun Enzo and T.J. Perkins versus Rich Swan and Neville match. I think you will. I think you absolutely will. I uh, no, I don't. I, I, I think it's inevitable. Honestly, Sorg. Maybe it'll Sorg, happen on main I, event. Bold, bold <laughs> proclamation. Yes. Bold proclamation. Enzo will not wrestle the month of October. No. Really? Bold. Bold proclamation. There's a pay per view. The entire. The entire month of October. Bold proclamation. Enzo will not wrestle. All right. All right, we'll see. At least what on TV. We'll At least on it. TV. I'm not counting house shows because, no, no, no. as we know, house shows don't matter. Aww. <laughs> Aww. I don't know. I just have that fun. I have, I have a funny feeling. I have a feeling at the pay per view we'll get like a number one contenders match or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That okay. way they can actually showcase like the 205 live guys that wrestle. Okay. All righty. Uh, so, uh, Sorg, I know it's difficult this week, uh, but where do you rank 205 Live? It's a solid number two. Like, a very, very high number two. That okay. on any other week may have one. Right? Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think they're a little bit closer for me, except for number one, which we'll get to. Uh, mm. But I, I'll say it's two for me this week. It was real close to being number three, though. And I'll get into that. Why? Not because the show was bad. Not because I didn't get my kitty cat man. But um, just for other reasons. Just for reasons. But yeah, no, yeah, number two for me, too. All right. Sounds good. All right. So, Sorg, where can the good people find you on the internet? Oh, the good people can find me here at SorgatronMedia.com. Sorgatron Media Studios here in Beachview, where we're doing a lot of fun stuff. Uh, if you want to come meet me, uh, we're actually going to do a meet and greet for uh, PodCamp Pittsburgh. I believe at 7 p.m. Uh, Friday night. Uh, here at the studio. You can check that out on the Facebook for Podcamp Pittsburgh for details. And if you meet Sorg and say the code word, hashtag reverse battle cat, you get to chop him. No, what? Hashtag reverse battle cat? Yeah, that sounds hashtag like, reverse battle cat. That sounds like some other... Con- Sorg, that's what we that's what we just talked about. <laughs> but, but out of context, it sounds like... Sorg doesn't Something watch the else. show we produce. He, I need to he look, is our Booker T. I need to look that up on Urban Dictionary. Anyways. That's a fair point. Yes. <laughs> Hashtag reverse battle cat. <laughs> By the way, reverse battle cat ends up turning you into a cringer. Um, get it? Get it? Wow. That, that was, that was, that was, that, that's, that's He-Man deep cuts. Oof. That's He-Man deep cuts right there. Oof. That's some DP man cuts. Uh, you can find me at Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter machine. Uh, you can also go to at Mayhem Show. Look at the hashtag MM for when I live tweet things such as Lucha Underground and things of that nature. And uh, I Sorg, uh, we should probably tell the people that I will not see them next week. No, I I won't be here. Nope. To to talk things, but Sorgatron. We'll be here next week on the Mid Week War!